Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, they wanted me to try these mics out um, today. The cameras are the camera is supposed to go in sometime this week, and we need to have the audio system in order to pick up sound for the camera. So it has to be wired in. And they wanted me to try these mics today to make sure everything works. We begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lord your spirit. spirit. We come together in prayer to praise God. We also acknowledge our sinfulness, and we ask God's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> o God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our reading of the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, as you receive Christ Jesus the Lord, walk in him, rooted in him, and built upon him, and established in the faith as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. See to it that no one captivates you with an empty, seductive philosophy, according to the tradition of men, according to the elemental powers of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells the whole fullness of the deity bodily, and you share in the fullness in him, who is head of every principality and power. In him you are also circumcised, with a circumcision not administered by hand, by stripping off the carnal body with the circumcision of Christ, you were buried with him in baptism, and in which you were also raised with him, through faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead in transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him, having forgiven all our transgressions obliterating the bond against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross, despoiling the principalities and the powers. He make a, made a public spectacle of them, leading them away in triumph by it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial psalm, the Lord is compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. The Lord, the Lord is compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, and is slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew. 
James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Paul, in this passage, then gets into the meat of the issue for the Colossians. Paul has not met the Colossians at this point. He hasn't uh, been in their midst. But he's been kind of updated by his followers, by his the people who, uh, who have gone out uh, on mission to the Colossians, um, who he has known. And, and so he feels compelled to write to them because of this an issue that has arisen. I mentioned the holy thing, of, the whole thing about angels, uh, and the belief that the that Jesus was and God were, were dependent on the angels to uh, participate in creation. And you know, Paul has to make this statement that you know Jesus is is absolute. <clears throat> well, there's a secondary issue, and that is that. Um, the Colossians are beginning to try to wed this philo philosophical position together with Christianity. And this philosophy and practice that uh, came up it is akin to um, um, something that we've experienced some of that new age stuff that we experienced several years ago with crystals and the power of crystals and the power of the elements and uh, those kinds of things. I'm sure you're, you're familiar with some of that stuff. Um, people operating in the spiritual realm where they believe that the crystals that they had contain certain powers and certain waters contain certain powers, etc., etc. Well, that, that very same concept began to creep into Christianity uh, uh, among the Colossians. And Paul is saying there is no need for any of that. that. That what we have in Jesus Christ is complete. That the teachings of Jesus Christ, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, are all we need. We don't need to add all these other elements and uh, try to incorporate them into the Christian message. We just don't need it. It has no place there. And, and that's really what he's dealing with here. Um, this is Luke's version of the call of the apostles. And um, Luke really... Uh, um, he borrows most of this from Mark's gospel. Um, he makes a couple of um, slight adjustments. So uh, he doesn't include Thaddeus in the names of the apostles, but he includes a, another uh, Judas, we call Jude, to distinguish him from Judas Iscariot. Um, but basically, and he doesn't offer a lot of descriptions about them. Uh, Mark uh, offers a few more descriptive uh, features to his list of the apostles that Luke doesn't include. But it's fundamentally borrowed from Mark. And um, what the people are doing is they're uh, prepping for, uh, or what the writer is doing is prepping for, in Luke's gospel, the Sermon on the Plain, 
we, we're, we're familiar with the Sermon on the Mount, which is in Matthew's Gospel, but the Sermon on the Plain is akin to that uh, Matthew and Mark's Sermon on the Mount. Um, the other thing of note in that Gospel is that the people traveled a significant uh, distance to be with him, where he is. Um, Jerusalem is 80 miles away, and people traveled from Judea and Jerusalem to hear him speak. Tyre and Sidon are, Tyre is 30 miles away, Sidon is 50 miles away. I mean, this is all on foot, people traveling on foot hmm. to hear him speak. But not only to hear him speak, but to be, to experience the curing, the healing that, that he's, um, been noted for. So he's got a, gathered a pretty significant group of people around him at this point, which is why it's become the moment for him to choose his apostles, those who will act and teach in his name. <clears throat> Let us offer our petitions to the Lord. For all who serve in the church, bringing others to Christ, may he bless their work with abundance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all nations and peoples of the world, may the Lord rescue them from the perils of war and the evils of oppression. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who are oppressed in any way, may they be strengthened by God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For married couples in this faith community, may the love of God strengthen their resolve to practice forgiveness and understanding with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may God's radiant light be with them in everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Charles Buddy Novak Sr., for whom this Mass is being offered, for all those intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts, and for all those who have no one to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, help us to put aside all those other elements that influence our lives, our superstitions, and anything else that moves us away from our Christian heritage and our Christian teaching. We pray, Lord, that we may follow the examples of the founding apostles and give our absolute devotion to our Lord Jesus Christ. We make this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. feeling that if I spoke in my regular mass voice here, I would blow you all out of the fumes. <laughs> Blessed through you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. For those who given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God forever and ever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of God's in name, for our good and all the church. 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 O God, who give us the gifts of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart 
Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up your to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim we the Lord, Lord, and, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop and his assistant bishops, all the religious, all the clergy, all your children throughout the world. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We the kingdom and the power and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with each of you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace, John. Peace, Doug. Peace, John. Peace, John. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant that just peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Oh, Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that you should have come under under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <clears throat> Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. You